Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be heading over to the coast to do my first nighttime clam dig. I'm meeting my buddy JP. I think it's his first time digging for razor clams, so it should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, before we go, I'm going to show you the gear that I'm taking. All right, guys, so some of the gear you're going to need, uh, you're either going to need some muck boots or some uh, waders. Uh, I'm bringing my breathable waders, and then uh, here's a uh, clam bag. You can get these at any of your local uh, sporting goods stores. Um, has a carabiner on it. Use that to uh, clip it to your uh, wader belt or your belt um, so you can just throw your clams in it and you know walk around to the next uh, clam hole. Um, you're allowed 15 uh, razor clams here in Washington. And then uh, you can either use a shovel to dig them or you can use a clam gun, which is this contraption right here. Um, if you've never seen one of these, it's just basically a big tube. I don't know, it's probably like a three and a half, four inch diameter tube. And then if you notice, there's a hole right there on the uh, bottom of the handle. So when you uh, thrust this uh, clam gun into the sand, you want to make sure that your finger is not covering that hole. So it allows that air to uh, escape the tube. Um, but before you pull out, go ahead and uh, seal that hole with your finger. And that's going to create a suction and uh, vacuum up that sand. So tonight on the beach, uh, you'll see that process in action. Um, but yeah, really, that's all you need. Um, these clam guns, I've seen them in PVC for like 20, 25 bucks. And then they can go up to about, you know, 70 or so dollars. Um, so not a bad investment. I mean, they last forever. Um, it is a little bit of a workout, though. At least I always get a, a little bit winded because I get excited and I try to do them really fast. I would recommend just uh, taking your time and, and having fun. But... That never seems to be the case when I get there. I get too geeked up. But uh, we'll see you guys out at the beach. All right, looks like people are already digging. I'll we'll have to go out and see what we can find. Okay, I think we got a clam hole. We're going to try it. Oh, it's a mud shrimp. It's a mud shrimp? Yeah. Bait. Yeah. See that guy? Woo! There's some more. Well, not a clam. <laughs> it's a not a clam. <clears throat> There's a whole tray. JP, first clam yeah. of the dig. Got it. Bam. And clam. There's one. There's two. Huh? 
there. Nice right, so. one. I think that gives me 12. Got one broken one. Three more to go. And we're done. Here's number 14. Another nice one. One there. I believe it's number 15. We'll uh, do a count here just to make sure. It's a workout. So, broken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, that's a limit. Fun stuff. Awesome. JP is just finishing up over there. Wait for him and then we'll head back home. It took about 20 minutes. All right guys, so we made it back to the house. Now it's time to clean the clams. Um, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, one method that's you know pretty easy is you can boil some water, drop the clam in the boiling water and the shell will pop open. Um, when it immediately pops open, um, you have another uh, bowl of ice water and you can uh, uh, cold shock it to stop the cooking process um, and super easy um, I don't like doing it that way just because I don't like to cook them um, you know or start the cooking process so basically what I do is I just kind of peel the shell open it up a little bit and just run my finger in there and uh, Pop it off like so. Shell breaks. I mean, this is a little bit messier, so you know you might like the the other way. But this is just kind of how I do it. I kind of tear into it. And lift it off like that. Then uh, I'll just take the scissors. And kind of cut up the gills here and I go into the I don't know if you can see here there's a little bit of stand but I wash this off um, but go into the first uh, siphon cut up I cut the tip of the neck off you use it for bait it's good for uh, surf perch <clears throat> then you see you got the, the gills and the guts here you can just uh, peel that back and away and just remove that from the razor clam and then cut into the other siphon butterfly it out that's done just needs to be rinsed off and then here you have the foot um, which is really tender and you just kind of want to cut it right below the, the main part of the gut sack there and then I like to kind of cut the foot open like that and then just clean the guts out and that's basically how you clean the clam um, this is a good bait or you can just throw it away um, it's up to you um, but pretty simple process and then if I'm gonna um, fry the clams which I'll probably do in a later video uh, I'll take a meat tenderizer uh, to this portion um, and tenderize it up that way it's a little bit more palatable um, if I'm just making clam chowder I just cut this into chunks and add it to the clam chowder and I'll probably be making a clam chowder video too um, but yeah, so I'm going to rinse these off real quick. And just like that, have a clean razor clamp. <laughs> 